Wow, you're a flight attendant. That must be amazing. Isn't that a dream job? Isn't that what we hear all the time as flight attendant, you guys? Well, this video is dedicated to real, real opinions actually made online. As you can see, the snapshot right here of people. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can. Of people that have written all about their feelings and what it is. Actually, most of the flight attendants have commented here. I've asked for permission um, to publicize this part. Um, I've been given the okay. I was told it's fine if you wanna use it. And I wanted to use it because um, this person here made some amazing, good, valid points regarding what it takes to be a flight attendant. I just wanna give you guys a perspective on the opinion of people looking in, wanting to become a flight attendant and the opinion of flight attendants um, and how, what really goes on you guys, if this is something that you are looking forward to, uh, what goes on and what's happening nowadays? Is it as glamorous as we all say it is? I know I've made videos with Marielle in the past regarding our experience and why she ended up quitting and the reality of it all. Now, I wanted to give you guys another perspective here and I think it's worth reading it. So I'm gonna go ahead and read it and I want you guys to think deep in heart and um, let me know what you guys think. So I'm gonna ask for your comments below after I'm done. So with that said, let's start watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. I'm gonna read this real quick. Um, so she writes, the general public. Wow, you're a flight attendant? That's my dream job. I bet you just love your life. How, how can I become a flight attendant too? So this is something that she hears on a constant basis. I do too, and this is why we have a channel. We like to share our passion for what we do. Now, um, this is her opinion about it, okay? So what they don't see. All right, so she goes through a list of things that she goes through as a flight attendant that she feels needs to be told. All right, uh, sitting at an empty gate and fighting the urge to vomit from anxiety. Okay, crying in the lavatory or other hidden place, sleeping the entire 20 hours of your layover because of depression. A lot of us suffer from depression, you guys, because it is a lonely job. All right, a lot of people think it's glamorous, but you do end up in your hotel room on your own, traveling constantly. You are exhausting, you are exhausting your resources, you're exhausting yourself, and at the end of the day, it could be very, very draining, and so that can cause depression as well. Um, losing and gaining weight from stress, true. Um, bloody cuticles from picking, okay. Uh, remember, it's really dry up there, so you do start having uh, dry skin. Being extra sensitive when your coworker says something mean as a joke and crying on the spot. So you do get very, very sensitive. Uh, being number 40 on hold with scheduling and wondering if you should just quit instead. Um, having a fume event and waiting five hours for a hotel room after being grounded. So you're grounded. All right, um, you had a fume event, I did too, uh, heading to Puerto Rico, and you do have to wait, and they'll let you know if you, um, you know, you need to get checked physically, or if it's fine, because they have to test the plane, so it is a stressful, and on top of that, you are like waiting for your room, um, so it could be a very exhausting day if that happens to you. Um, having a fume event and waiting, okay, so we already said that, having passengers physically and verbally abuse you, that is true you guys you can get that constantly um getting injured during severe turbulence true as well um uh, being diverted and stranded at an airport that happens all the time so you have to be prepared for that um tsa agent being rude because of their own issues yeah sometimes we bring our our issues from home or at work into our work environment and we treat others like they shouldn't be treated um Having your liquids thrown away, insecurity, even though you're on duty uh, and in uniform. Yeah, I mean, if you, for some reason, go to KCM, which is your pass to get through with all the other uh, employees, airline employees, and then for whatever reason, you are randomly selected, you need to go through the line. <laughs> Sometimes they'll, you know, they'll pass you in front of everybody because they know you're on duty. But if you have liquids, you're treated like everybody else and they will throw everything that you have. And we tend to bring a lot because we're on long-term uh, flights and so they don't care about that they will treat you just like everybody else so that's something to consider uh, calculating how many points you'll have if you call out sick so that's very stressful because if you have too many you're you're fired 
Um, calling law enforcement to meet you at the gate. Not being able to sleep at night because you're anxious about going to work tomorrow. Yeah. Um, having to borrow money from loved ones because you're poor. It's very stressful financially, you guys. We don't make the money that everybody else thinks or other airlines because, uh, you know, the main lines uh, make a lot more than we do. Um, it's just reality. Um, <clears throat> taking vacations because it's all you have. Your flight benefits. Um, so you have your flight benefits, but then it costs money to travel. So it kind of like, yes, your flight didn't cost you much and you still have to pay taxes. Um, but once you get to a hotel, you have to pay for all that. So it's, and it's hard because we can't, it's hard to save money to even travel and use them. Um, <clears throat> worrying about messing up at your company somehow, but working with someone senior who breaks every rule and still has a job after several decades. Well, I'm not going to get into that. So you guys understand the more senior you are, the more you feel like you're, you know, um, you know, nothing can get to you because you've done it for so long and nobody's going to report you because you have that many years of experience that's happened, you know, and that happens in every job uh, environment. Um, saying hi and welcoming passengers and being ignored. And that happens and that's going to happen in the workforce anywhere as well. Say hi, good morning or welcome to Subway and then somebody just ignores you and walks right by. That's just part of customer service. But if you're having a hard time with that and you need that feedback, that positive feedback, um, then, you know, it, it's, it could be hard on you because constantly you're forcing yourself to be courteous and, and kind and then you don't get that feedback back. And if you need it and you're someone that's needing it every single time, then you might be disappointed. Um, being away from home for over half the month, um, so much that it doesn't feel like home anymore. And then she goes on saying divorce, breakups, um, because partners don't understand your lifestyle. That's true. That's so true. Self-soothing with vices that you shouldn't. That's true too. Losing friends, coworkers, loved ones, and finding out that the news when you're unable to do anything about it and thousands of miles away. Yeah, sometimes you receive news and you're just too far to even deal with it or to be there. Then it says jet lag, chronic illnesses. Yeah, exposure to hazards chemical on a daily basis. That's true. Biggest one is, you know, the higher you go, there's more radiation. So you guys are exposed, your body's exposed to radiation up in the air. Um, especially pilots, you know, their skin, skin cancer. I mean, um, you know, even when you're pregnant, you're exposing your unborn child to radiation because um, you're closer to the sun um, and all kinds of hazardous things that we, you know, vomit, deal with a lot of body liquids. Um, so it's really, you have to be used to that. Um, jump seat therapy and having to expend emotional energy, soothing coworkers, even though you're struggling, okay? Suicide, suicidal um, thoughts, fantasizing about jumping on a plane and never coming back, okay? Uh, having panic attacks in the airport, all right? They could be crying at the thought of even having to report. Yeah, it could be very stressful. Uh, working a five-day trip that turns into a six-day trip. Four legs each day. So it's exhausting, you guys. Four legs is, you know, going from point A to point B. That's one leg, so you can do like round trip is two legs another round trip is four legs so it's a long day you guys because some legs are four or five hours so you're looking at a lot of hours um having to be a firefighter babysitter nurse bartender cook therapist while trying to keep your sanity because we do have many hats when we're up in the air you guys because we're dealing with so many things at the same time um crying in uniform accidentally in public and still being asked for help in the terminal despite obvious upset yeah, because you're susceptible, you're sensitive. And then people disregard that you are human. You know, they think you have answers to everything and they need help. They're there, they're stressed, they're trying to catch a flight and they turn to you. Even though you have personal issues, you have to put that aside all the time. So you're not really acknowledged. Um, losing friends because you never hang out with them because you're never home. True. Feeling entirely alone because you devote your life to this job and everything else phases out slowly. And you realize when you come back from this job that what you had or what you knew is no longer because people will not wait for you. They know you're gone. And, you know, I believe if they're true friends, they'll stay by your side. But a lot of them just, if you don't hang out with them on a daily basis or communicate with them often, they just slowly uh, dissipate, unfortunately. 
Uh, hiding self-harm scars during the summer with long sleeves. Whoa. Okay, that's deep. Being told you're just a glorified waitress in the air. That hurts. I've, I've heard it before and that's very hurtful. Uh, minimum rest between trips. That's true. Sometimes you have to report and you don't have the time that you need to rest. Even though you can fight it, sometimes when you're assigned something, you can't argue. You have to execute. You're at the mercy of the airline. So you have to do what you're told. Um, barely sleeping or not sleeping at all between days. That's true. Because you're always on the go, go, go. And it takes time to fall asleep because you're in different beds every night. Uh, I'm one that I need my bed to get a good night rest on my pillow, and I don't get that in hotels. I'm always cold. I just, it doesn't matter what the temperature is. I'm always freezing. I never feel good just because of jet lag. And you're feeling jet lag, but you're already scheduled on a New York flight, and you have to wake up early, and you never get that rest within those five, six days of travel. Um, barely sleeping. I've been told to just quit if you don't like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, just why don't you just quit? And uh, them not understanding it isn't that simple. It isn't because there's so many issues that come with it. Having crew members that don't have your back. That's true. Some people just pretend they're all there and you know, because you're dealing with different crews every single time you do travel, um, which is exciting because you never know who you're going to get. But again, there's always that bad apple that you have to deal with. Um, and if they do, they follow you through the entire trip. If it's a three day trip, you're with them. So if they don't have best, the best intentions toward you, then it could be a very, very painful trip uh, in the long run. Cause you don't have that person to talk to or confide in or just kind of hang out with. So it could be a long trip if you don't have that support. Um, remembering you're just a number to your company. Really, you have your employee number and that's all you are. Seriously, having a good trip, good crew, only to find out that they talk badly about you behind your back. That's true. Also, um, you think you can trust them. And before you know it, they're all, you know, catty catty in the corner. And then when you walk by, they're laughing at you. That's in every situation, whether you're at school, you've been bullied, work, there's a lot of bully as well. And a lot of them try to, you know, get their schedule to work at the same time on the same day in the same uh, line. Um, and so if you just happen to be replacing someone, you're kind of coming in new when let's say the crew already knows each other. So you feel like a left, you know, an outsider and they make you feel like that too. Unfortunately, you know, that's just, it comes with the territory. Um, and then she goes on saying, um, I keep on editing this list. All right. She says even things that I have in personal experience. Um, but I've heard, you know, is what she says. All right, so then we have comments, um, you know, very interesting comments. We have um, every person I know who has come to me thinking they want to become a flight attendant has realized that they were wrong. All right, so that's someone that just answered that a comment that, you know, that big paragraph that I just um, shared with you. Um, I tell people the negative. I do not sugarcoat this job or idealize it like I once did as a fly newbie. Because once you start, you're like, oh, it's amazing, it's glamorous, you know, follow my channel, you'll love what we do. Um, but you never really wanted to speak the truth uh, just because you don't want to disappoint. You've put in so much of your um, sweat and blood and effort into training and wanting this job just to find out that there's a lot of negative. Um, you don't want to face the fact and you don't want to talk about it. So a lot of people keep shut and they keep that smile which behind that smile, there's a lot of suffering, you know? Um, then someone else answers, same. There was a girl in my training class who wanted to be a flight attendant her whole entire life. She used to pretend flight attendant when she was a child. So she used to pretend that she was one. Um, she lasted less than two years. Some of my friends just think it's about looking hot in the uniform and meeting interesting people. It's easy, one big party, but wrong. Mind you, my friends and I are in our late 40s and 50s. Sad face. Yeah, I mean, realistically, if you're young and you don't have any attachment and this is the life you want for yourself, that's great. It is exhausting. You will age quicker. Um, you know, all that stress will catch up to you, I guaranteed. Um, and you will see as the years go by, everything that I'm saying will probably resonate with you. So if you're a newbie right now, it's exciting. Um, again, don't make this stop you from following your dreams. All right, I want you to pursue your dreams and live it to the fullest. Now, again, it's the outlook that you may have. Okay, you guys, this could be negative for you, but I want to show you the opposite it um, spectrum of this job okay because we always often talk about the positive but there is some negative and it's good to kind of weigh 
um, and basically make up your own decision as to if this is something for you and you want to move forward or it isn't. Um, uh, everybody was commenting this. Yes, you're right. I agree. Um, and then someone else says, uh, you have nailed it. Uh, so often I get asked the same question. You must love your job. Isn't it great? And she puts her. Those of us on this page reading this can totally relate. So there's a lot of flight attendant on here and understand this glamorous experience which is not so glamorous lately, I always bite my tongue. In my life as a flight attendant for 30 years, okay, I have to keep focusing on the good, That's, which is what I was just telling you. It's all the way that you're processing things. If you're a negative person, then you might processing, you, you might start processing all of these uh, things negatively and turning it into something that you really don't wanna do. Uh, so it all starts with your mindset and everything that you do. All right. Um, so, and then she puts, please have hope that it will get better. Keep getting it out. Keep adding to the list, which is a list of the things that we named earlier. Um, go public and our families, um, they will never understand what we go through. I would encourage you to dig deep and find the peace and strength and healthy resources to process all this chaos in your mind, all right, or in reality. Uh, please don't make a decision based on fatigue, anxiety, or depression. If need be, take the time off and get a second job. Uh, so it's a lot of self-control. I mean, there's so many factors, again, that you need to you need to dig deep. And, and it's very hard to make um, kind of crazy decision when you're exhausted. And looking back, you may say, I regret quitting. I shouldn't have. I was just tired. I was exhausted. But, you know, before making a rash decision, if you need to take some time off, then take the time that you need. Do what you have to do. Uh, there's a lot of resources that are available with our airline or any other airline um, you know, that you can turn to for help, whether it's psychological or physical. All right. And then people were commenting, this is spot on. All of this, yes. And then someone else said, having panic attacks in the airport, yes. Crying at the thought of even having to report, yes. Uh, working a five day trip that turns into a six day, yes. Four, four legs each day, yes. Having to be a firefighter, babysitter, nurse, uh, yes. Um, adding this all, thank you. All right, and then they add crew scheduling, calling you at 2 a.m. after you've been tossing and turning since 9 p.m. That's me. Can't sleep. I don't, when I'm working, I just can't sleep. I'm scared that I don't hear the alarm. I'm scared I won't report. I'm scared I'll forget to get the shuttle or yeah, I get so stressed when I'm traveling. I have like three alarms. I've got my Apple Watch. I have my phone. I have like literally so many alarms. I, I even call downstairs. Can you please give me a wake up call just in case I forget? And then I make sure the time zone is good because what if they give me, you know, my alarm goes off, but it's like my, my time zone in Florida. And right now we're in, just to give you an example, Puerto Rico and it's different uh, time zone. And then it says here, um, so got a cruise scheduling calling at 2 a.m. after you've been tossing and turning since 9 p.m. and you are exhausted, yet expected to be peppy, awake and energetic for three legs that day. Um, and then everybody's like, can I please copy this? Can I please copy that? Because, um, and then they're like, it's sad, but true. Each of us has experienced some of it, not all these things, but we are here for each other. All right. Um, it is, it is like a family. It's true. We all stand up for each other, but sometimes your state of mind isn't where it needs to be. And that's where the stress settles in. Um, and then this lady here answers, uh, say it again. <laughs> And someone else says, you're literally typing my life, exclamation mark, exclamation. My hair is falling out. I can't sleep longer than 35 minutes at a time. Um, I either binge eat or I don't eat at all. Um, I can't stop beating myself up. This job on top of it has magnified everything. So you can see some people are just taking a beating physically, mentally, morally. It could be very hard on some of us, definitely. Um, and someone says, I can't even read this whole thing because it hits close to home. Yeah. Um, and then someone else says, boy, every single person can relate to uh, at least one of these things listed. And Lord help and hold dear to those of us who relate to most of this list. It's not a glamorous life, but it's our life. And she puts a heart emoji and a plain emoji. Um, and then it says, I literally am losing my hair over this job these days. Uh, it's not the same anymore. Thank you for posting this. Um, I thought I was losing my mind, uh, but you know what? Everybody's going through the same thing here. And so, yeah, I mean, this is definitely, you guys, it is not 
easy all right i'm gonna stop reading but it goes on and on people commenting about that comment because that kind of went not that it went viral but everybody was really like feeling like it was hitting home for them again it it, it comes from your upbringing uh, your thought process and i'm going to give you an example real quick um i had an incident where my car broke down and um you know obviously i knew it was going to cost money um, I could have taken that to the scenario two different ways. I could have just bitched about it, been mad about it, uh, start dwelling, what the heck am I going to do? Um, now it's going to cost me this much. I should have gone to the garage sooner when I saw problems starting and kind of like really make myself in a really bad mood. But I chose not to. I chose to look at it as a positive experience. I know that's crazy. How could you think of it positive when your car breaks down. Well, called the towing, AAA can't pick it up. I decided to rent a car. I tried to choose a car to my liking. I got like convertible um, Mustang, um, took off the top, enjoy the heat, <laughs> Arizona, um, and just kind of like got a little makeover, glammed up uh, myself. Um, my friend just did it for me. She's amazing. You guys need to follow her page. Uh, she was just practicing for her portfolio and she did an amazing job. Um, she's got some before and after pictures. I got the fake lashes and the entire makeover. She's professional. She's incredible. If you guys are ever in the neighborhood or need an amazing makeover, she will transform you into this beauty she did a great job anyways um try to make myself feel better and um just going back to the story i turned a negative into a positive and again it's just it starts from within and your outlook on life and that's in that's in everything whether it's pishu you're thinking negative about your pishu already before even getting in the mail and thinking this is not working then it won't work for you all right it's always about manifesting positive things so always turn a negative into a positive you guys um i know sometimes it's hard and you don't see it but once you start changing that um message that speech that vocabulary and also like your internal voice if you start changing that things start changing around you and you can make things happen for you so i went from a really rough morning to actually not bad of an afternoon because we rode my daughter and i who's right here next to me we rode <laughs> is he hi <laughs> we rode and we had a great time she's never been in a convertible before so she had a great great time and so with that said we went for breakfast we enjoyed some ihop a pancake and um you know it was we, really good <laughs> it was really good and then from there we ended up uh, my friend just called me out of the blue and she's like i need to give you a makeover love her to death made my day so because my mindset was already positive uh, from that bad experience with my car it ended up you know good things i started attracting good things and look at me today all glammed up just for you guys yay and um i just wanted to share this video because i think that this says a lot depend i mean it doesn't matter what you're what field you're in right now um i think that it's always at the end of the day it's the way that you see things you know if you were bringing your anger to work and you're bringing your anger in your internal dialogue through the entire day don't expect good things to happen to you so always try to see the positive of things that little light in that negative big clouded um scenario all right and i hope this was informative you guys um just know that you know again i'm not trying to discourage you please don't think that i'm doing this video to let you know that it's this job is horrible it's got its positive and negative sometimes you have to weigh the positive against the negative and see if this will work for you i just like to give it to you real all right i don't like to sugarcoat anything i like for you to make your own decision as to if this is the job for you if you think it is then great welcome to the family you guys go for your application go for your interview I'm here to help you again fly with Shelly at gmail.com if you guys need some coaching advice I am here for you um, you can always go on my website at flyingwithshelly.com all right and on there you can find your coaching session and I can help you and I provide from 30 minutes coaching session all the way up to an hour two hours and I can help you with your resume as well so if you think this is for you you want to give it a shot you guys you have nothing to lose again don't get scared with all the, all the stuff that I've said I'm just trying to keep it real for you guys just because I like to be honest because that is what we all go through and you will as well don't think that oh for me that's not gonna happen and it will just know that it will and that's the way that you will handle these scenarios um, and that's what is gonna kind of differentiate you from everyone else and, and it's gonna make a difference between the person that's gonna stay at a job that could be difficult compared to someone that's easy 
uh, a quitter um, who just can't handle their emotion and um, and if it's too much for them just kind of like walk away because they just couldn't contain um, you know their emotion at that point um, all right so I hope this was informative thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great upcoming weekend I, I love you and um, you want to say bye, bye. <laughs> she's my little assistant here uh, and so I hope to hear from you guys soon please subscribe uh, let me know your comments down below. Let me know what this video made you feel. If it made you kind of second doubt what this, if this was for you or if it doesn't scare you. I would love to hear and read all of your comments on this video. So thank you for watching. Again, love you guys. Have a great day and have a great weekend. Bye.